Hey guys, Citric Orange here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a working airship base in Minecraft Java Edition. So no Bedrock Edition, so yeah. I'm going to be using version 1.18.2 because I'm going to be playing an SMP after this. Uh, yeah, I might even make a video on that. So let's get started with today's video. So first off, what we're going to need, we're going to need a redstone block. Two is recommended, so I'll have two. We're gonna need two observers, two sticky pistons, ten slime blocks. So let me just grab ten. We're also gonna need chest mine carts, so two of them to be specific. Uh, we're gonna need two rails and cobble and two cobblestone. I believe that should be any everything. First thing you wanna do is uh, tower up however tall you wanna tower up. So I'm gonna go. So I'm gonna uh, do 10. So first step, you want to build this simple flying machine. Uh, that that's actually very simple. I, I yeah, you just have to do this. Boom, boom. Congratulations, you have made a flying machine. Now this already has the ability to change directions and fly infinitely. But we're going to be making a modified version of it, which is where the fun comes in. So you want to copy this and do that. You're going to want to do this. On Make sure not to trigger the observer, otherwise you're going to be in for a bad time of you flying for you flying uh, to the middle of nowhere. So you want to do, you wanna make it sure that it looks like this uh, on both sides. If it does, then you're probably on the right track. Next, you want to add two rails here. And then place your chest mine carts, otherwise you can't place them. And then break the rails off of them. Uh, this is so that uh, they don't do other things later on. Because uh, after that, you want to place two rails here. And if you, if, you, if you did place that and then that then it would just go whoop whoop and not end well for you <laughs> so congratulations you have just made an entire flying airship base in minecraft java edition but to activate it you want to place a redstone block make sure not to fall off on any of the pistons and you should be able to uh once you remove the redstone block from uh the piston you will start going in that direction pretty cool i know and it can change directions by just going the cobblestone also acts as a seating and you can change directions by breaking uh, by placing another redstone block and then uh and then uh going to the side opposite side of where you gonna go and as for the tnt mechanism it has two uh, different ways to use TNT. You can use TNT minecarts like this. It only works when you're moving. Don't try, don't try going the opposite direction and then placing TNT like over there. That is not gonna work. Uh, and you can also oh, wait. I don't have a flint and steel. <laughs> you can also use uh, a flint and steel to. Um, light TNT manually because dispensers won't work and there's no there's, wait yep there we go <laughs> and if you ever want to just halt halt it once again just use a redstone block and it should be fine and as for the cargo you use the chest mine cards that's how that's how it works Anyways, if you've enjoyed today's video, please be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, if you if you want to see more types of redstone content, redstone Minecraft content, be sure to comment down below, like, subscribe, like I said, and uh, I'll see you later. And I'll be playing on an SMP. Bye.